this lecture produced by www.free-academy.com we're going to be talking about the power rule of integration now if you saw the introduction to integral lecture you might be saying to yourself hey you said there was no rules to integration it's techniques um, yes and no and truth be told power rule of integration is a name that I gave to this I actually don't really even know what this is supposed to be called um, but remember, we need to liken our integrals to like solving trigonometric equations. There is a number of equations in solving trigs. You got cosine squared plus sine squared equals one. You have the half angle identities, things of that nature. But you need to manipulate the equations into something where you can apply those. And that's the power, uh, that's uh, integration. That's all integration. So before we start learning how to do this in really complicated things, we're going to discuss our half angle identity equivalents and um, that's going to be our trig integrals but in this lecture it's going to be our power rule now recall from the derivative that the power rule uh, says that the derivative of x to the n equals n times x to the n minus 1 for integration it's going to be the integral of x to the n equals x to the n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 all of it plus c and this is literally the exact opposite of each other but you will notice that the n in the derivative would not equal the n in the integral and uh, let me show you this let's take the derivative of x to the fourth so our n equals 4 n minus 1 equals 3 and our answer equals 4 x to the third duh I mean, we've been doing this so many times, it's such a dull statement. But now uh, let's take the integral of 4x to the third. dx. Well, notice our n is just whatever n exponent is. So n equals 3 and n plus 1 equals 4. Taking these ends and putting them into the formula that we have up here, we have x to the 3 plus 1, 4, over n plus 1, 4. And this, of course, is multiplied by the 4 that we had as our constant, plus c. And this all simplifies to x to the 4th plus c which is exactly what we were looking for. So the difference uh, between the n and the derivative and the n and the integral is just the one, but that follows logically because you're actually working with different numbers. So I'm gonna bring up a new note here and we're going to run through, uh, let's say like five practice problems so you guys really have this down. 